Hello science people! Today I want to talk to you about diffusion. Diffusion explains how most processes happen in biology. Diffusion is the process of things moving from an area of high concentration to low concentration. To help us think about diffusion, I want us all to consider a pot of boiling water. You have steam rising. Well that steam doesn't just stop and collect above the pot of water. What happens is that steam diffuses, it spreads out. Well, why does it do that? Well, we know that steam is composed of molecules. Molecules are composed of atoms. And atoms and molecules are always moving. Well, when you have a gas form of any type of molecule or atom, it's moving very quickly. And so what happens is that collection of gas is bouncing off of each other. So you have those molecules crashing into each other and then heading in opposite directions. So you have this big group of steam molecules bouncing off of each other and then heading in opposite directions. And they're going to keep going until they hit something else. So they're going to spread out. We call it diffusion. They're going from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. They're going to disperse and spread out as far as they can. To get an idea of just how fast and how far diffusion can happen, let's think of the sense of smell of a bear. Bears have an incredible sense of smell. A bear can smell food 5, 10, 15, and even sometimes 20 miles away. That would mean that when I'm walking through the woods and I think I'm alone and I let out a fart, a bear can smell that fart mm. 10 miles away. That would mean that those fart molecules diffused, bounced, and spread through the woods and made it 10 miles and entered that bear's nose. That's amazing to me. Diffusion is the reason that medication doesn't work instantly. When you swallow medication, it has to diffuse throughout your whole body. Diffusion is responsible for how many organisms get their oxygen and get their water intake. When you spray perfume onto your skin, it is diffusing into the air. That is why it slowly wears out throughout the day because those molecules are leaving your skin and traveling into the air and then entering the nose of other humans and that is how they smell it. These were just a small amount of examples of diffusion. There are so many more, but I just wanted to give you a small introduction to what diffusion is. So remember, diffusion is the movement of things from an area of high concentration to low concentration. Thank you, and I'll see you again next time.